need your approval. I can't go ahead without it. To hell with the magazine. I don't care what you do. Fine. Don't you dare walk out of me. Well, then why don't you act like a publisher instead of a spoiled little child? Are you speaking to me? You realize that's the first word you've spoken to me since the reception last night? When are you going to cut it out? Look at this. Look at this. You know what you've done to this man's career? I? He's the one that took the bribe. And I can prove every word. Oh, of course you can. Of course you can. And isn't timing just perfect for you? You did your little smear job at Travis's inaugural reception with the entire media present. You know what? You are a real winner. That's you not, really are. not the way I planned it. Palmer goaded me into it. Oh. Well, of course. Wouldn't be as much fun if the two of them hadn't been there, right? The two people you despise the most, one fell swoop, you got them? You must be very proud of yourself, insinuating a man's career into total oblivion. Every word that I said was the truth. Now, granted, it may have been a little premature, but Travis Montgomery is not the great, great white knight in shining armor that everybody thinks he is. No, this man, this fellow here, crook, bought and paid for by Paul McCartman. And you got your revenge, didn't you? Your hatchet job is on the front page of every newspaper in this country. And you want me to give you a medal for that? What I want you to do is listen to what I have to say without branding me guilty. Don't you even care what I have on Travis? All right, all right, fine. If you have proof, I want to see it. I want to see it. Bravo. The phony invoices for the media blitz. The budget submitted by Travis to the election committee. And... The real numbers. Look at them. Compare the totals. I want to know what you think. Now, if that isn't illegal and immoral, I don't know what is. I thought you might be impressed. If these figures are authentic... They are, bro. Well, Travis is into it up to his neck. It's just so hard to believe. I just cannot believe Travis let himself get involved in something like this. He wanted to be senator. I know, but to, to, to go against the law, to, to cover it up... You can't deny the facts, Brooke. Well, he certainly fooled me. Well, he, he fooled a lot of people. I still don't like the way that you went about it. Though I admit, certainly, that this sh should have been made public. Ah, within the pragmatist beats the heart of an idealist. Yes, I know. Something that does not go hand in hand with journalism. Of course it does. I'm sorry I had to topple your idol. But I'm very glad we got this settled because I missed you last night. <sighs> I missed you too. Ah. It's amazing how two people can sleep in the same bed and still be miles apart. It's awful. We're like thunder and lightning, you and I, you know that. We activate each other, but... What's life without a little excitement? Be very, very dull. Yeah. You want to do that full-color layout in the Wall Street story? You got it. Oh, thank you. Mm. You know, I just was thinking one thing. Mm. You know, when you said that Palmer goaded you into this expose sooner than you expected? I just have one question. When were you planning to release this in time for me to pull my glowing tribute to Travis's honesty and integrity from the newsstands? Well, who do you take me for? Of course I was going to let you in on it. The FEC? Were you going to show it to them? Of course I was. I was as soon as we'd published the scoop, I was going to take all the proof over to the FEC. Of course I was. The whole thing broke expected. So Temple won't have an exclusive, but we'll certainly have the best coverage, the most complete coverage, and I was ready and willing to cooperate with any and all investigations. Uh -huh. Can I believe that? Brooke, I swear to you, I never had any intention of doing this any way but by the book. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I have a magazine to run. <laughs> What's the name of it? <laughs>